Hello and welcome to Pops and Soul, which is K-pop fans' favorite hangout spot, and I'm Eddie. The talented hip-hop group BTS wrapped up the first concert tour in the USA. They performed in New York, Dallas, Chicago, and LA, and received an explosive response from more than 12,000 fans. The four-city concert tour became sold out in just five minutes, showing that they had huge ticketing power even overseas. BTS is planning to go on a tour in South America and Asia, and I hope they delight the fans there as well. Now, I'm gonna open the doors to Pops and Soul with BTS We Are Bulletproof Part 2, which is requested by ID Hawaii Amber from USA. Now, are you ready for the video? Start! It's now time for K-Pop Top 10, where we're gonna check out the songs that caused a sensation this past week. There's been a heated competition in the K-pop industry this summer with top boy bands including Big Bang, Beast, and Shiny making a comeback. So, did their return affect the rankings on our top 10 singles and album sales charts? Let's try to find out by checking out K-pop Top 10 compiled based on the official music chart of Korea, Gone. It's now time for us to travel back in time by checking out the music track from the past with with the ever so cute Prince and the ever so handsome lady. It's time for K-pop television. <laughs> yes, Reply 2008. Uh, what? Uh, I don't understand. Is that a new installment of the Reply drama series? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just saying it because it feels like we're back in 2008 because of what's happening on the K-pop scene these oh. days. I get it. You're saying that because of Big Bang and Wonder Girls, right? Yes, Big Bang and Wonder Girls who dominated the music scene back in 2008 have returned with new albums and it brings me back a lot of memories. Yeah, I was told that I put on a joint performance at a music awards ceremony in 2008. I can't believe that was seven years ago. Yes, and I hope they continue to be around for many years to come. And now, let's find out how far we'll travel back today. Oh, let's go back all the way to the second week of August in 2011, which was four years ago. Sure. <laughs> um, what was that? <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? What's wrong with you? A man should laugh. At number 10 was Man Should Laugh by Om, who showed perfect teamwork. Oh, oh, a duo formed by two M's, Changmin and Ace Leons. Mm. They actually received a lot of support from the male audiences because of the lyrics that spoke on behalf of the guys. Right, but you know what? That's so unfair. Why do guys have to smile even when they're heartbroken? It's because we're men. Men are supposed to be tough when they're in the face of a breakup or when they're about to confess their feelings to a girl. Neko, huh? Yeah. And number 9 was Infinite's powerful confession song, Be Mine. Eddie, have you ever met someone that you wanted to say that to or... Oh, wait, what's your ideal type? Um... I can't, I'm sorry, I can't say it anymore. Oh, yes, what? I'm sorry. Um, I said it too much, so I think they already know. Can you, can you guys also do like a CG? What about you, Prince? I think everybody knows who <laughs> mine is. <laughs> to the pop staff, please. Put a big face of my ideal girl right here. Nah. You shut up, boy. <laughs> Anyways, I hope we get to meet the girls of our dreams and say be mine to them someday. <laughs> yes, someday, very soon. Oh, Prince, can you give our viewers a hint about the song at number eight by doing a dance? I'm sure you're doing an awesome job. Um, this was like four years ago. It's been a while. I'm not sure if I remember. I guess I can try. Mm -hmm. Rolly, 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 poly. <laughs> yes, Prince, you're the best at imitating girl group dance. Yes, it, at number eight was Tiara's Rolly Poly. You know, mm, trends always make a comeback, and the 80s disco music became a huge boom in 2011. Right, and the retro star outfits perfectly suited Tiara. You are so beautiful. Um, are you confessing your feelings to Tiara? Which member in particular? Oh, wait, Prince, do you smell that? Eddie, 
All I smell is just sweat. <laughs> what? Hey, stop joking around. Our viewers will totally believe that. I'm talking about set of a woman. The drama was Jaya saying you are so beautiful and that's the song that landed at number seven. He didn't just record the soundtrack, he also made a cameo appearance, right? Yes, and you know what? I just want to say that I can sing and act too. So, to all the television directors out there, give me a call. Well, why don't you give them a glimpse of your acting skills by quoting something famous? From a drama, maybe? Um, okay, uh, um, da. The Chuana? Da no Chuana? I thought that was pretty good, no uh, way. It was pretty good. And number six was. <laughs> yes, it was what? Wasn't it the girl group that lovely Susie is part of? It was Miss says goodbye, baby. Come on, come on, friends. You need to know when to give up. Susie is now. You know, what? Doesn't mean she's married. Me know, let me apologize on his behalf. And moving on, and number five was Person Love by the top vocalists of Korea, Kim Bum Soo and Lena Park. And in fourth place was Super Junior's Mr. Simple, which caused a sensation not just in Korea but all over Asia. That's right, and I love the lyrics of the song. You know, you should live without worrying so much. Yeah, so when you're stressed out, I suggest that you turn up the volume to this song and sing along. I totally recommend it too. Now, we only have three more places left to announce and they're all taken by girl groups. Ah, oh, that's right. Number three was Heaven, a soundtrack of the movie Ghastly, sung by the top female duo, Da Vinci. Right, and every summer horror movies hit their theaters and it's the soundtracks that make them even more creepier and more terrifying. Yeah, they send chills down your spine, right? Look behind I you! Why? What's behind me? Well, it's a beautiful set, right? <sighs> okay. Are you talking to me like that? Are you saying I'm ugly just to get back at me? No, I was just announcing song at number two. It was 21's ugly with a mix of electronic and rock sound. Ah, oh, it's alright. It's cool. It's cool. I'm pretty easy going. It's cool. Are you sure you're fine with it? You know, you have uh, angry written all over your face. Uh huh. Then prove uh -huh. it. Then prove it. Uh -huh. I feel so cool, cool, cool. At number one was so cool by Sister. Everyone looks forward to every summer. Yes, they are definitely an iconic group that everyone thinks of whenever summer rolls around. They blow the heat away with their fantastic song. They're matchless when it comes to singing skills and hot bodies and music. Then why don't we check out a music video from Sister that will help us cool down. Sure. I feel so cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I feel so cool. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sorry, sorry. This is the most perfect choreography for a song. Oh. But if you do it wrong, you look like a fly. Oh, come on, if you do that, you know, you're gonna have all the haters all over the world. You know how many fans Super Junior has? Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, so today's legend. We will zoom in on the top group in the K-pop industry. We will talk about the kings of the Korean wave who will be celebrating the 10th anniversary of their debut later this year. It's Super Junior! <laughs> Super Junior is famous for the self and drug introduction, right? Mm. What do you know, Super Junior? Oh! Yes, Super Junior debuted on December 5th, 2005 with Twins, Knockout, and it's been almost 10 years since then. 
Not many idol groups have survived until the 10 year mark. So, congratulations to Super Junior who have been reigning over the K-pop scene for the past 10 years. You know, I'm so envious of them. Mm, me too, me too. I'm sure many male groups like us consider them as role models. Yeah, Super Junior reached the peak of their careers with the song Sorry Sorry which we performed earlier. That's right, they swept the top prize at the end of the year with that song and the choreography was covered by countless people around the world. Yes, they also caused a huge craze with the follow-up song Bonamana. Do you know how long they stayed at number one in Taiwan with these two songs? Mm, 20 weeks? 30 weeks? No, 121 weeks. What? Considering there are 52 weeks in a year, that means they were at number one for ooh, two years straight. That's impossible! Not if you're super junior and plus, they are the ones who popularized the Unicruise system in Korea. Ah, that's right. They had a number of Unicruise including Super Junior M for the Chinese speaking regions, Ni Hao, Super Junior T who do trot music, <laughs> Super Junior Happy Ying Ying Ying, but uh, who do funny exciting songs? Yes. Super Junior D and E formed by two members who are of the same age as Super Junior K R Y who blows everyone's mind away with their amazing vocals. Swap! Yes, and each member has a unique set of talent and they are gaining huge success through solo activities, acting in dramas and films, and appearing on variety shows. They are a true multi-talented mm. group like us. Super Junior has been going on world tours. Mm. They've set incredible records, holding 100 concerts and attracting more than 1 million fans. They definitely live up to the name Super Junior and I hope they continue to be around for many years to come. Now, as a way to show our support to Super Junior, let's play Devil from their special album release to commemorate their 10th anniversary. Devil. Is this a devil? This is Pikachu. Pikachu! Yeah! Pikachu! I choose you, Pikachu! Yeah. Come, it's shock. come back, Pikachu! Come back! Go, Pikachu! Come back, Pikachu! <laughs> That brings us to the end of the show for today. I hope you enjoyed checking out the new and the past charts with us on Pops and Soul. We'll be back next time with another fun filled edition of Pops and Soul. So please tune in again so we can delight your eyes and ears with the hottest music video. And we always want to hear from you guys. So please leave us your song requests and feedback. The doors to Pops and Soul are wide open 24 seven. So visit us anytime on our homepage, Facebook or Twitter. And now let's wrap up today's show with a song from our K-pop pop can charge. Bye bye. bye. Oh, so hot. So hot.